Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Aquarius. How are you guys? I will have singles readings up on next Monday. You can check those out then. Maybe there'll be a message there for you. Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Clear messages and guidance for Aquarius. Oh, energy. There we go. Trust. Okay. Opportunity beckons. Ooh, you may have a op new opportunity here. And I also see if you don't trust a situation, you may miss an opportunity, okay? So you may be a little bit back and forth on something here, I'm feeling. My intuition says you could miss an opportunity. Uh, and somebody may have missed one with you because they didn't trust you. But there is an opportunity here, okay? So yeah, to come together with someone. You're going to need to trust this process if you want to come together with this person. Uh, but it could be just trust issues overall. And this is about being stuck, missing an opportunity, something, someone having their back turned on this world, this change. So there's someone coming around here. Okay, Aquarius, what is going on? Does Aquarius need to know? About this overall energy, Aquarius. Does Aquarius need to know? Yeah, there's trust issues. <laughs> yeah, pretty heavy too by the looks of it. So there may have been some kind of mind games or manipulation. There could also always be prepared here because this is sometimes frustration. Sometimes this is miscommunication as well. So make sure the communication is clear. Make sure you, you speak up too if you have trust issues. Yeah. But I think there's someone maybe who manipulated, I don't know, or they didn't trust you or vice versa. They may have missed an opportunity to come together with you. Uh -huh. Aquarius. Yeah, so we have a King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, there's someone here who's learning something, you see. Someone's trying to learn something here. They may have realized they've missed an opportunity. Maybe they manipulated. Somebody might have been a little bit too strategic. They may have been manipulating a little bit. Uh-huh. Yeah, so that's that trust issue. Do you want to bite that apple? Do you want to invest in this? Look at it first. Take your time. Okay, someone, there's a seven of pentacles. Someone's trying to figure out something here. If they should trust this situation. It could be you. It could be this other person. It kind of feels a little vice versa, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, so we have a King of Cups, yeah. Someone may have missed an opportunity for love here. They didn't trust their feelings, uh, their emotions. Might have been a little emotionally manipulative somehow. Somebody wanted, you know, the King of Cups likes to be indulged. And uh, definitely a family person, someone who likes family. Uh, but this is someone who likes to be indulged, um, indulged emotionally. And I've been seeing this come up lately. So it's definitely a message for people to hear. Uh, not just Aquarius. I feel it's as definitely been coming out. It's going to be the, it's like the energy of the week. It almost feels like someone didn't get what they wanted. They missed an opportunity. They didn't share their feelings, but they wanted you to indulge them. They were strategizing uh, because they had trust issues. Maybe they didn't, weren't sure if you had feelings for them or if they were, your feelings were real or why you were invested in them, interested in them. Okay. It's what I'm kind of feeling here. So there we go, yeah. So I do feel as though we have the Six of Swords. This is someone who's learning something. I think you got someone who's headed towards you to make peace, but they may have moved away, kind of pulled back to avoid a disaster. This is someone a little cautious about sharing their feelings, falling in love. And then we have the lovers, yeah. So this is someone's choice. So some of you may have a choice between several people, but this is a choice in love. Someone's coming towards you. They're learning something. They're taking something they learned and they're headed towards you. They may want to make peace. Uh, they may want to talk to you and communicate. Maybe they didn't take enough time to get to know you, to understand you. This is about two people uh, communicating, growing closer, getting to know each other, moving forward calmly and peacefully, you see. 
Uh huh. So there was definitely an ending. So oh, the phoenix rising from the ashes. There may have been a painful ending. This person's coming back, though. <laughs> Yes, they are. Somebody wants to come together with you. Some of you could be moving away from someone who's holding back. You don't want to invest in them. You can't trust someone who doesn't share their feelings. You could be choosing to uh, move on. But I feel there's trust issues overall. Uh, I feel as though you have to trust in this process of love. It's two people trusting each other, building each other up. Uh, communicating, growing closer, bonding, getting to know each other. So I think you've got definitely a person that feels they've blown it. They missed this chance. Some of you have this opportunity if they come back around and you may not be trusting them. Okay, that's the way I'm seeing it. So yeah, there's that Ace of Swords, the truth. This person, see all that sword energy? This person's speaking the truth here. They want to talk to you. They want to communicate. I feel this person's coming in to speak a truth. They're having an aha moment. They're kind of getting something. I do feel that they want this new beginning. Uh, there's some kind of newfound clarity and insight into this situation. Wow. Okay. King of Wands. Yeah, this is someone who knows what they want to go after it. But I do think this is, we have the... Uh, Nave of Pentacles. Someone's looking at the details. They want to communicate. They're planning something. They want this to be successful. So they're coming in to take the lead. Oh my gosh, you're going to get a truth here. Uh, somebody wants to tell you the truth. Why they may have they may have moved away from you because they weren't sure what why you were invested. Maybe you weren't sharing your feelings either. Maybe because you weren't trusting them. But I think this person may have played a little mind game. Uh, I'm not so sure. I, I think they're in, uh, they didn't intend. I don't think this person intended to cause harm. I can see the energy. And I feel this is that King of Wands. This is someone who needs to uh, figure out what they want. They need to take the lead. They need to be the person to offer the pentacle. But they're looking at the details here. They want to come together with you. Wow, wow, wow. All right, we have the... Five of Swords, yeah. This is maybe something you've been waiting for. This is someone who's holding on to that wand, that passionate energy. They're kind of looking out there, possibly, if this is their energy. Because I do see that King of Wands. This person may have been waiting for you. Maybe they got tired of waiting for you <laughs> to invest. It could, it could go either way. Yeah, looking out there for the one. Is this the one? I think your ships may just be here. But this is an opportunity. Is this what you want? So yeah, you see, you've got someone here who, some of you are looking out there for other possibilities. You may feel like somebody was manipulating, lying to you. You're not trusting them. Maybe they kept you waiting too long. You see, I think they're about to make a decision though. Yeah, Pisces energy. This is someone who's kind of doing a little introspection, like I said. They're going within a little bit of a pause. They're looking at things from a different perspective, a different angle. So it's about two people seeing things from each other's perspective. Okay, and that's what I feel it is. You got someone who's kind of stuck here in that pause, looking for answers within themselves, right? That period of introspection. I like that energy. So I. They could have some Pisces in their chart, or they're just in that energy. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, there we go. Yeah, see, be careful what you wish for energy. You're not so sure if you want to invest if this person offers you that cup because they kept some of their feelings to themselves. Uh, they wanted you to indulge them. This is that indulging. They wanted you. They were trying to manipulate you to get you to indulge them, but they're seeing things from a different perspective now that it may have come across as manipulation. They tried to do something here. Uh, they offered you a little bit, kept some feelings to themselves. This is definitely, I feel they have some Pisces in their chart. Uh, yeah, but you didn't trust them because of it, okay? So it's that be careful what you wish for. You didn't want to invest possibly. So I feel there was a painful landing. Tell me about this King of Cups. Oh, there's that truth, the epiphany, you see, that clarity. 
it's a win or lose situation. This person, you know, they missed an opportunity because they were trying to control the situation. Um, they lost control more than likely. I'm sure we'll be seeing the chariot. I see this. This is, you know, it's. I know they seem that readings seem redundant, but this is typical. Uh, relationship energy with people who've been hurt by other people or they just have trust issues for whatever reason it's not always this drastic don't make a mountain out of a molehill but you know, this person's definitely having the epiphany uh, this truth they never told you the truth and I feel they want to they want to come towards you I feel this person I think you know it too I think you're kind of getting it yourself Aquarius <laughs> okay yeah, someone didn't get what they wanted because they kind of manipulated a little. So it created trust issues. Yeah, so there's this choice. Two people growing closer, getting to know each other. Okay, I see a Gemini energy. There's some kind of bond forming. This person never really told you the truth. And I think there's this aha moment too. But be a little cautious if someone comes in that they don't emotionally manipulate you. Be a little cautious. Take a little time to get to know them if they're new. Even if they are someone coming around has missed an opportunity. As I feel like it's them. I do feel like it's them. But I do feel like you feel you may miss an opportunity um, to maybe reconnect or bond with this person. But the trust, right? Can you trust this person? Yeah, so I see that Three of Cups. So I feel what's happening here. Yeah, this is someone who uh, gets a lot of attention from a lot of people. Uh, I feel they, they're always on the move. They are a family person, though. But I, I feel as though... They may have had a choice between two people. I feel this is someone who gets a lot of attention. Uh, you want to make sure when they come towards you, the kind of attention they give you, what they're looking for. Like they wanted you to chase them. And uh, maybe you did at some point, you didn't get what you wanted. Maybe you just pulled back. I feel like you may have distanced yourself from this person. They may have moved towards another person at some point too, but I feel like this person wanted you to chase them, but you're not. I feel like you're not chasing them. There's this stuck. Uh, maybe you feel like you should have chased this person. <laughs> I don't know. I think they need to come after you. I, I see the way this energy is. This is someone who, there's a bond. There's a connection. This is two people growing closer, dating, getting to know each other's friends and family. I feel this could be successful. I think this person uh, messed up. And I don't know why. I don't know if they had other people or... They're definitely doing that little uh, that little pause there, going within. They know it too, I think. They're gaining some kind of clarity from that little pause. Yeah. Could be yourself as well. You know, they wanted you to chase them. They want you to indulge them. Uh, they're used to people chasing, I think. This person has people chasing them. I think they're quite popular. Um, I feel this is someone who gets a lot of attention. Their friends, maybe. There may have been some kind of gossip or something, too. Maybe there was just too many people involved, too. Someone may have had other options. Maybe they weren't sure if you had other options. I don't know. I, only you would really know that for sure. But I see someone a little bit confused here. Uh, someone's playing mind games, creating that confusion. You are, you're not going to do confusion. I can see it. Yeah, there you are, Aquarius. This could be you here. You could be the King of Swords as well. So keep that in mind. But yeah, this person's definitely... Uh, wants to offer that cup. They want to have success. They know they need to be emotionally available and they need to act in a mature emotional manner. No mind games. Uh, so you may be definitely questioning this person. I can see you asking questions. This is where you ask the questions. You know, what do you want? You know, where's this going? Uh, you may want to just take the time to get to know this person. Some of you may be cutting somebody out too who manipulated you that you were waiting for. You may be actually deciding to move on towards another person. It could be this person doing it though. So we have that Queen of Swords. This is yourself. You're questioning this. You want the truth and nothing but the truth. Uh, you don't want someone who's coming towards you just looking for attention. 
And you don't want anyone who's giving attention to anyone else either. You're not interested. I can see that. Speaking your truth, getting the truth. And they know it too. They know what you're expecting here, uh, this person. Ooh. You may cut somebody out here though. I feel it may be something that's happened. The energy's here because this person's thinking about all this. It's making them change your perspective, seeing things from your point of view. Uh, you may, do, may need to change things from theirs as well. Sometimes people expect unconditional trust. Uh, and it's a difficult thing if you've been hurt before. If you waited around for someone only to find out they're actually out with other people, you start to get that trusting, distrust energy. It's hard to shake. And that's that Queen of Swords energy, someone very discerning, someone who's been hurt before, not going to be played the fool again. <laughs> so, yeah, you want the truth and nothing but the truth. You need to know how someone feels. You want to make sure that, you know, they're choosing you and there's nobody else involved because you will set yourself free. You will move away. I do feel like you possibly are getting attention from a couple people. It's quite possible. Uh, I think this person wants to know that too. But you have that King of Cups, so oh yeah, twice. You may be cutting somebody out, seeing the truth that someone's holding back their feelings, uh, maybe emotionally manipulative as well, so you might move towards another person. Cutting someone out, putting an end, but rising like the phoenix from the ashes. I see success and victory. I see a Aries Leo Sag or someone in that energy who's coming to take the lead. Yeah, you've got someone who knows exactly what they want. So I feel that's what's happened. There's someone who wanted everything their way. They wanted you to indulge them a little bit self-serving. Uh, I feel like you're freeing yourself from somebody. Uh, but I think whoever this person is, if there's only one person, this is someone who's kind of getting it. They're starting to see things from a different perspective about how they behaved. Okay, they wanted everything their way and they had a painful ending. They didn't get what they wanted because they manipulated. They didn't speak the truth. They should have shared their feelings, but they held back. Too cautious, right? They have their own trust issues for whatever reason. Maybe they're not sure why you're interested in them. You know, why you, you have this invested interest where you want to. But see that trust is, should I bite that apple? Should I go for it again? <laughs> Yeah, tell me about this Ace of Swords. Yeah. Some of you are, I, I actually feel you've got someone who wanted everything their way. I think you're distancing yourself. You're seeing the truth. Uh, I do think you have another person moving towards you. Now, it could be this person, uh, this Emperor energy. Now, it doesn't mean they're Aries, Leo, or Sag. I do see Sag energy. Maybe it's in their chart, or they're just in that energy. So someone who now wants success. There was a false victory because they manipulated, and I think they're getting it. And I've seen this in another reading, pretty much the same reading. So there's definitely something here. In fact, I've seen this coming up in a few readings. It all depends on who you're connected with. But I feel as though this is somebody who um, didn't take the time to really get to know you. But I feel they, they're coming in. And I think they're coming in as the King of Wands. They know what they want. They're a leader. Uh, they're going to take the lead. But they're not going to, with this Emperor energy facing the other way, they're not going to want everything their way. Uh, moving forward calmly and peacefully, taking more time to get to know you, right? Because they know you will distance yourself. I, that's what I feel too. Uh, someone's learning something from this experience, why something ended. It was. I think it was painful for this person. It was a painful realization is what I think, that aha moment, uh, the truth. It was like an emotional manipulation. <laughs> and careful you're not doing it. <laughs> Like I say, I see the King and Queen of Swords here. Uh, we have the King of Wands. Yeah, Justice. We have a Libra energy. So yeah, this is somebody with some Libra energy. This is somebody who's coming in right. They're going after what they want. Um, this is somebody, wow. This is somebody who now wants commitment. I think you're going to, they're, they're thinking about how to communicate. Uh, taking their time, looking at the details, how to go about this the right way. They want to come together with you. So, like I say, sometimes you fall apart to come back together because there's 
you know what sometimes some time apart is good yeah so this person's definitely very much in control of their emotions they lost control they didn't do things right this time this time they're more in control okay uh, they're not I don't think they're going to control their emotions I think they get that they were they were fighting it um, they weren't sure if you were invested or uh, I, you know it's They're definitely heading your direction, but I feel you're moving away from one person. Some of you are moving away from one uh, and coming together with another person, someone who's right. So you've got somebody possibly who wants everything their way or the highway, and you're going to just take your lessons learned. You're being very wise to move towards someone else. Uh, doing things right, doing what's right for you, somebody who fits, someone who takes the lead. You're getting some justice here, uh, whether they have Libra in their chart or not. Tell me about the trust. What are these trust issues? There we go. Yeah, someone who's focused on themselves, you see. Selfish. Uh, all about me. It's all about me. I want what I want, you see. I've seen this in another reading where I've seen the page, uh, uh, the emperor, and then the king. And they were almost, not, they were all, weren't in the same places, but it was the way they flowed. So someone's getting something here. Yeah, see, this is someone guarded, defensive. Uh, I feel like this is someone that, you know, you don't trust them. So somebody, maybe they blocked you. Maybe they think that you're being selfish. I don't know. There's trust issues, definitely. But I feel like this is being careful what you believe a little bit here. Um, you're not believing somebody because they're coming towards you and they're being kind of immature. You may even be blocking somebody. Uh, someone's not getting what they want. You want. They want you to indulge them, and you're not. It's all about me. Give me, give me what I want. And if you don't give me what I want, I'm going to pound my fist on the table and stomp my foot, slam the door. <laughs> yeah, maybe not quite that bad. It could be more mental than actually a physical energy. But you never know. So I see the opportunity beckons here. Yeah, there's some conflict and challenges, some obstacles to overcome. Uh, someone feels they missed an opportunity. Someone's coming in to take action. Somebody's coming in to fight for what they want. They're probably worried there is competition too. That's a thing. So um, I, I see you having some strong words possibly with somebody here as well. You might have actually had a few choice words for somebody. But I feel like it's somebody coming in to take action. Somebody's kind of, you know, it's being up for that challenge, you know. You want someone to fight for you. You want to know that they value you. If they fight for what they want, then you know, you see, you're being wise. Uh, you've been hurt before. So uh, I can see the energy. That's that Queen of Swords. If that's not you, this is you here. Okay, strategizing, looking at the person's, looking at uh, their, how they feel about the situation, seeing things from their perspective, why maybe you didn't get what you wanted, okay? So it could go both ways. So it's up to you to figure out who you are in this equation. Tell me about coming together. Yeah, this person wants to get to know you. They want to date you. They want to court you. This is going to go in your favor. Uh, some of you are going to end a situation with somebody, though, uh, if you have to. If you don't, this is this person's energy. So it's going to go in your favor regardless. This person's planning something. Uh, they're staying in control. They're using the power they have to come in and take control, but not in a controlling way, okay? They're always going to be a little bit uh, that domineering kind of person, very loud, very proud, okay? Somebody's ego got in the way, I feel, too. This is someone who's used to being indulged. They're used to people offering up their feelings to them. You know, this person probably has a lot of people. They've dated. They get all this attention. All their adoring fans, you know. <laughs> yeah, but they need to make a choice. I think this person's going to want to date you. They're actually going to take time, more time to get to know you if it's someone coming around, okay? Or this is how something may play out. Uh, just stay in your Queen of Swords energy, but watch your words. <laughs> uh, I feel like, you know, you want someone who comes in right. You want somebody who knows what they want and is not afraid to go after it. That's where I feel is that that energy that you need, Aquarius, okay? So, yeah, this is somebody to come in in a balanced manner, yeah. 
There it is, expressing themselves. They have to come in and start it. This person knows too. They need to come in and take action because you will end it. This is that one foot in the door and out. If you have someone you're dating that has one foot in the door and out, uh, they're getting it. They, you feel like they're just coming in for attention and they're getting attention from others and you're waiting. Uh, you will cut them out. I see you asking for the truth. I feel like you're sort of setting down some very strong boundaries. That's putting up your boundaries right off the get-go. Uh, and if they're not interested, then oh well, then you move on. Uh, if that's the case, there will be another person possibly. But I feel um, probably more than likely because unless it's this person. But I feel you have that opportunity regardless. Things are going in your favor. A cycle is ending. Uh, somebody's making up their mind. No more uh, one foot in the door and out. You're going to come together with somebody. Uh, they, but I do think they're going to court you for a while. Um, this person sees you in a favorable light. That's how they want you to see them. Okay, they want to, sort of like they want to show you that other side. Some, I'm having a hard time articulating their energy, but yeah. Tell me more about the chariot and we'll wrap this up, Aquarius. Yeah, see, emotional fulfillment. This is somebody who isn't going to control their emotions. They want to be happy. They want that emotional fulfillment. They're planning something here and they're planning to have success. I feel they are a little cautious. You know, they may um, start texting you or something, getting ready to call, then stop, you know, or if they're texting, they're deleting it and then doing it again. They want it to be perfect. Uh, because they want this to go in their favor. So, <laughs> the courting person, yes, very nice. But definitely, if you do have someone with one foot in the door and out, you're not going to put up with it. I think you're going to set up some boundaries. You want someone who spends time with you. They take the time to get to know you. They're honest. They're truthful. So things can move forward calmly and peacefully. There's happiness. The sun is shining. I see a possibility of taking drives with this person, taking a little trip. You may, If they're at a distance, you may go visit this person. But I feel definitely some a lot of happiness here. I see a lot of emotional fulfillment, happy home, happy life kind of energy. Uh, definitely somebody is a family person. They actually are, regardless of their energy. I mean, maybe this is someone who gets a lot of attention. Um... You have a lot of people competing. There's a lot of chaos and conflict. They may be just getting ready to make up their mind and settle down with the one. So nice energy. What is the outcome of this situation for Aquarius? Yeah, so there is going to be some challenging times, some obstacles to overcome here. Might be a little conflict, okay? You may have people competing for your attention. You may need to cut somebody out. You may have somebody who's very dramatic too. For some of you, I see the scenario with someone who's very dramatic because I see this choice in love. But there is somebody here who wants love. And I feel there's someone who loves you or they're going to get to know you and, and then open up and express themselves. But this is how they're thinking. Just watch out for that one person who may try to emotionally manipulate because I see two kings of cups. Now, it could be this person has feelings and they manipulated you somehow to get you to open up and they didn't get what they wanted, a false victory. Now they're probably concerned that you have other options. So there is some challenges ahead, some obstacles. Uh, but I think this person, I see a warrior spirit. I see this person. <laughs> You may have actually challenged this person. I, I feel like we got a couple of pretty smart people here, though. Uh, and I do feel that there's someone here you can communicate with quite well. I don't think you're afraid to speak your piece at all uh, and say what you need to say. You just want them to speak the truth. You want to hear what they have to say. Yeah, see, sharing the love, there's a little crack here. Uh, you want to make sure this person isn't with anyone else. You're not sharing um mm -mm, absolutely not if they're giving attention to anyone else you're not interested so i think this person's going to reach out but i do see three people possibly in this equation so if you are trying to decide you may block someone who's immature or they might block you because they aren't getting what they want kind of smug haha i blocked you okay so uh, but i feel like they're not going to get what they want because i think you got someone who's kind of immature i do think this person who's immature uh, does get that they've been behaving immature because they didn't get what they wanted right there was a very painful ending and the only way to rise from the phoenix from the ashes is to learn from it okay 
And, and yes, the emperor can be immature. <laughs> they can be that way emotionally immature is what I'm saying, okay? Yeah, it kind of feels like there's two people for some of you. Yeah, some of you will be moving on, yeah, from somebody like that. But it could be somebody who's coming towards you. They could be leaving that kind of energy and behavior in the past too. So if you have that person, you know, that's been immature and blocked you or maybe you're blocking them, um, somebody who's guarded and defensive, you know, they got their guard up. It's also that energy of not believing somebody because of the way they communicate or the way they reach out. So uh, I kind of feel like whoever it is is thinking about that. They want to um, be very careful how they communicate. They want to make sure they say the right things because they want to come together with you. Whoever it is you end up with here, you know, it's up to you to decide. You could just end it with both people and just move on. But you will have a new person. Uh, you are going to get that emotionally fulfillment, that happy home, happy life. Okay, stay in control of your emotions. Don't let them control you. Uh, watch your words, okay? <laughs> yeah. And, and be a little patient with someone when they come in. If they have a hard time expressing themselves, don't expect that absolute perfection. Take a little bit of time to let things kind of coast along, okay? Because I feel there's definitely been some kind of argument, uh, some harsh words. Uh, but I, I feel as though you want someone who knows what they want. You want that warrior spirit, somebody who comes after you. Uh, and I feel like that, for some reason, it's very important. And it is because of the trust. So I wish you the best in this. I feel things are going to go in your favor. And take care.